here. Let me also. Revelio. Revelio. That woman now takes it herself. No wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fangs of geranium. Revelio. Revelio. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once. But they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted?
I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Thank you again for delivering those pushes to the Battle of Wild. Gave me a lot of time and trouble. Here you find a bit of tri- Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. See you again. Farewell for now. Oh, my dear biscuit. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. 
I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening and wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flogged, skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your Mooncalf, Garneth. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnus Mooncalf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Charitable bone in their body. Poachers! Garnet was right then. I'd better be careful. Rebellion. Something's to protect her. Glacius. Too slow. My life is worse than my bark. Capriso. Are you even a drinker? Incendio! Real quick, don't care. Incendio! Incendio! Let's play Fritz and Fray, 
Shall we? Depulsor! Kabrinka! Quintanga! Red up top! Glaciers! Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit?
don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something... Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Oh, biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Pardon me? Might I ask a favour of you? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. How on earth did you discover that Boo a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boo Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Revelio.
here. Incendio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Glacius! Glacius! Revelio! Glacius! Incendio. Defendo. Incendio. Defendo. Revelio Glacius Confringo That's that. Settled. Revelio. Who lived here, I wonder? Accio! Thank you. 